What is up guys? We are back today for another live on Showdown. Today we're going to be jumping into the RU tier. I did say that I wanted to do this, but uh, never really got around to it. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't like the color palette of the RU tier. That's why I try to avoid it. I don't like the way it looks, but we're going to be trying our hand. I'm not very experienced in the RU tier, so I'm actually going to have to make a cut because I want to ladder up a little bit. After the cut, we'll be getting into our games, so I want to see how this team works. This is a Mega Steelix team, uh, coupled with DNC as our rock setter. Steelix is actually rest sleep talk, so it's a little more offensive uh, than you would normally see a Steelix be. Uh, 88 speed investment, uh, so uh, as you can see, that's not fully defensive uh, in the least. It doesn't really need defense, though. As you can see, 230 base is absolutely ridiculous. As we said before, uh, Deancey, Stealth Rock, Moonblast, Diamond Storm, Earth Power. This thing is actually a very good wall breaker uh, with uh, being modest, 252. Got Blastoise here to uh, basically phase anything that wants to uh, to try to set up on us uh, with Scald, Rapid Spin, Refresh to heal off status. Got a couple of status absorbers on this team actually, which is really nice. Uh, we got a uh, Scarf Flag on here, which is uh, which is really cool. It gives us initiative with the U-Turn, Earthquake, Outrage, and Fire Punch uh, to be able to hit uh, Steel types and stuff like that. And uh, finally, we have Siglyph here because the team, this was originally a Meloetta on the team that, uh, that I picked off of the, the forums. And um, I decided to switch it out for a Siglyph. It was one of the suggestions on the thread. Uh, I, thought, I thought the team was extremely fighting weak. And this is a nice check to Verizion, as Verizion can't really touch it, other than uh, Calm Mind HP Ice, which, uh, which is a thing. But uh, we can Psycho Shift to Burn onto it. We can Calm Mind up alongside it. Air Slash does a million. So like I said, guys, I'm going to be trying to get a couple of games, ladder up a little bit, see what the, uh, what the tier looks like in terms of the ladder. And uh, then I'll be back and uh, we'll get a couple of games for this episode. Be right back. All right, guys. So I had a couple of games. Uh, I did lose one game, but uh, for the rest, I didn't ladder too much, but because it's, it's kind of late. But um, I had a uh, had a pretty good time with the team. It's it's pretty solid, and I like the defensive core uh, between Blastoise, Siglyph, and Deancey. Creates a crazy defensive core, and you'd think that Steelix would be part of it, but I almost never brought out Steelix. It was really just to take like boom bursts from Swallows and. Um, and x -Plowed. so uh, the team functions pretty well. Let's see if I can uh, get as many wins as I just did. I actually already played this guy. Uh, he swapped out a Pokemon, though. He didn't have Verizion before. I think this is actually Scrafty. It's kind of funny. Um, he knows my team, though, so that's a little bit annoying, and I don't know uh, our U teams too well. I didn't calculate the damage. I know he's uh, he's Boom Burst Swellow, um, and he's also Specs. Uh, he's definitely Specs Meloetta. From what I can remember. So I'm just gonna lead Steelix this game. I expected the Explod because it did a lot of work in our last game. Uh, I beat this guy though, so I can pretty much just throw off a heavy slam here on anything and it's gonna hurt. Uh, and I do not think that Fire Blast knocks me out. Uh, Surf won't either exactly, so uh, we're gonna be able to get off a big heavy slam on this thing. And I, if I can get rid of this early, that's a huge threat gone. I'm going to switch out into my Blastoise because I take a Surf like it's Child's Play. Uh, if he wants to double into Verizion, that's a good play, but he actually chooses to go Meloetta. Not bad. I'm expecting a, uh, a Hyper Voice here, so I'm going to double into Deancey, and he's going to go for the Hyper Voice. Uh, that's actually a crit. As you can see, that would normally do not too much. Um, I do want to get up my rocks against this guy, though, so I'm going to take the Hyper Voice. Uh, that's not an issue. And we'll just go for the... Do I want to keep this around? Is this any good against this team? Not really. I can uh, I can just Diamond Storm here. And uh, I'm pretty much going to sack my Deancey. Uh, I do get a defense boost. That doesn't really matter. What do I want to kill this with? Um, Scrafty, I guess. Scrafty can take a hit and then fire back with a Dragon Dance. The only thing I'm worried about is this Tyrantrum. Uh, I'm just going to throw out another Diamond Storm. Hyper Voice is fine. And I can go Flygon and U-Turn and just EQ everything, right? Uh, other than the Swellow. He's very weak to EQ. I think that's why he switched it up for a Verizion, because he was extremely weak to Earthquake spam. So, uh, yeah, I think Scrafty's the play. And I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance right now. Goes for Hyper Voice, does a lot, but it's not going to be enough. 
we are going to get off that Dragon Dance, and uh, we're just going to go for Knock right here and knock him out. And he does have a couple of good plays right now, Swallow being one of them. Uh, he does outspeed me, I believe. 354, 383, yeah, definitely. Uh, just going to go Steelix here. I'm going to keep my Scrafty around for a little bit longer. Uh, he goes for Boom Burst. That's going to be able to knock us out. And here I'm going to go... I think Blastoise is my play. Yeah, Blastoise is definitely my play because I think he gets me into Torrent right now. So I'm just going to Scald. Again, if I get rid of this Swallow, it's pretty much uh, game over. I can just EQ everything on his team because he let his Explod get weakened. EQ doesn't do too much to Steelix after Mega Evolution, but nonetheless, uh, I still have Scrafty in the back too as well. So uh, Burn, we're going to pick up the Burn on that... Uh, on that swallow right there a little unfortunate for him he would have been able to get off another boom burst but just gonna go siggy on this uh, virizion it is my dedicated virizion counter as he goes for substitute not bad good play just gonna air slash here not really afraid of this thing i uh, want to see what he wants to do here he's gonna double he's gonna go into that into tyrantrum good play on his part i believe his tyrantrum is scarfed so i'm gonna go flygon here and uh take the head smash without a problem it's not even a two-hit KO, so uh, I can just go for U-turn here, expecting him to want to go back into Verizion, uh, which he is going to do, so that's great. We do get momentum off of that, and uh, I'm just going to go right back out into Sigilyph, honestly. And here, I don't really want to Psycho Shift because I'm afraid that he might set up a sub again. Um, then again, I lose nothing by it, realistically. The only bad thing that could happen is if he goes into Xplod, which at that point I think I'll, I'll just sack... Um, I'll have to figure out what I want to sack. Probably Scrafty, because Blastoise does a lot to the, uh, to the Steelix. It pretty much puts it in range of, um, yeah, he does go Tyrantrum. That's good. <clears throat> We're going to get the Psycho Shift off on that thing. We're going to get our burn back, I believe. Yes, we are. Uh, I need Blastoise because I need to weaken the Steelix. So here I can just go right back out into Flygon. It's not a problem. Uh, he can go for a Head Smash, but it's doing even less this time. It is a two-hit KO, however. Uh, this time around. I'm kind of worried. Um, how much is his Verizion at? 49? Uh, can I risk it coming in? I mean, as long as I have Sigilyph, yes, technically. He's going to go Explode on this turn, basically sacking it. Uh, again, he can go back into Verizion, but now with his Tyrantrum burned, it's, it's on a timer. So uh, he's going to go Steelix here. Perfectly fine. I'm going to... I need Flygon because, or else I don't have anything that outspeeds the Tyrantrum. Basically, I'm going to win by, um, well, I can win with Sigilyph, right? If I just pass off a burn to this. So I can just EQ here. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to EQ, and uh, he's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Good play on his part as, uh, well, not really. He doesn't kill anything, so I'm just going to get extra damage off on his Steelix, so he just gave me extra credit right there. Um... To the point where Scrafty can now just Drain Punch. And I think knock this thing out. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not, no. Uh, he's going to live on 3. That's fine, though. He's going to go for the Heavy Slam right here. But we do outspeed with Sigilyph. As long as we land the Air Slash, we're pretty much good to go. I can sack my Blastoise to his Tyrantrum when it comes in. Or do I want to go Blastoise right away? Hmm, that's the question. Because now Tyrantrum is a little bit of a threat. I don't think it takes out Sigilyph with a head smash if it's burned. Let me just confirm that. Sigilyph uh, versus Tyrantrum. I believe he is Scarfed. Uh, where's Tyrantrum here? Choice Scarf. Head smash normally does 195 to 231, so he can knock us out, actually. Uh, wait, that's... Uh, no, that's a Choice Scarf Jolly. And if I add a burn to him, or status... Burned... Yeah, he can definitely still knock me out. Can he knock out Blastoise, though? Because Blastoise is a lot bulkier. Blastoise. Are you bulky spinner? Um, head smash burned. Does not knock me out in the slightest. As a matter of fact, I might even be able to take two after leftovers. So, yeah, Sigilyph is my play because I can't let his Verizion come in for free. And I just air slash here, knock this thing out. Hopefully we land it, of course. And if he goes uh, Tyrantrum, I think I'm going to have to play around it a little bit. But we said the Blastoise took two, so we're pretty much good. He's going to die to burn eventually. Uh, he has to go Tyrantrum here. He doesn't have another play. He's going to take that. He's going to go for Head Smash. 
He's even if he's banded and he's not scarf because I never actually got to confirm that last game um, He's still not gonna take me out. So he's pretty much gonna go down to burn right there and uh, We're gonna pick up that win. So he forfeits uh, He's already gone. So I'm not even gonna GG that and we're just gonna jump into the next game immediately as you can see Sigalyph actually does a lot of work It's a really good Pokemon. I really like it definitely better than Meloetta on this team uh, as you can see, I have nice fighting checks. I have a Verizion check. If I still had Meloetta on this team, I would just get 6-0'd by uh, a Swords Dance Verizion. Just Leaf Blade the Deancey, Leaf Blade the Blastoise, Leaf Blade the Flygon, uh, and Close Combat the other three. So, definitely need Sigalyph on the team. Uh, otherwise, I can't really... I can't survive anything. So, it's a little bit late, guys. This is a lower tier. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time to get a battle. So, I'm just going to pause it between battles. Normally, I don't like doing that because I feel like I'm cheating the system in a way where I could be getting losses and you guys don't see it. But I don't do any editing, really, other than adding the music uh, afterwards. So, I am just going to pause it and we'll come back when we get one. Never mind. We got one immediately. I technically did pause it, but only for a split second. So, this guy's got a really funky team. Um, Klotzer is a little bit of a problem, I would say, um, because Blastoise can't really take Dark Pulses, not from Mega Launcher Boosted anyway. Uh, I'm just going to leave Flygon here, he is my Scarfer, as you guys might already know, I love to lead with Scarfers, so, uh, I'm just going to U-turn here on this Klotzer, uh, we are faster, 100% of the time, just going to start the timer on this guy, going to get a little bit of damage off, going to go into Blastoise. And uh, see what he wants to go for. He just does, does choose to throw out a Scald, which is not Mega Launcher boosted. And unfortunately, he gets the burn. I'm actually going to refresh it off. And uh, hopefully, he switches into his Sceptile. That way, we can uh, get a little bit of Leftovers recovery. Again, I have Sigilyph for Sceptile. So, Sigilyph pretty much checks every Grass type in this tier, for the most part. He is going to throw out a Dark Pulse right there. Um, I think we are slower than him. So he would take a... Do I need this for anything? I'm going to go for Scald right here. Just to weaken him a little bit. Hopefully get a burn. As we do not, he goes for Aura Sphere right there. We are faster. I guess he expected my switch into Deancey there. Uh, that makes the most sense. I can't really switch into anything on this thing. So I don't really need Blastoise this game. I'm going get, to get a crit right there. Unfortunately for him. And... Um... I think I'm just gonna have to go flag on. He doesn't have a fairy type on his team, so I can pretty much spam Outrage. He also only has one thing off the ground, being the Claydol. He's very ground weak, actually. Um, his only resist being Sceptile. He does have a, a uh, an immunity in Claydol, but that's very easy to take down. So I think my play here is just flag on again and just EQ this time. Definitely, because I don't see him going Claydol on a, on a potential U-turn. That's what I want for turn one, so... Uh, just gonna EQ this time. Hopefully he doesn't think that we're Scarfed, because normally Flygon outspeeds Klotzer anyway. Maybe he thinks we're Banded. I don't, def definitely not from the U-turn damage on turn one, but... He's gonna bring in his Chinchino. Uh, not exactly sure why. I'm just gonna EQ this thing, get off as much damage as I can. He's gonna go for a Tail Slap. I think that's gonna actually gonna take us out with the Skill Link. Uh, and I think he is Banded, so... Uh, I still have my Steelix as, a, as ground spam, if you guys were wondering. And Steelix actually takes on Sceptile, so it can definitely heavy slam it and stuff like that. The only thing it doesn't take on is, of course, Claydol. Um, here, what do I want to do? Uh, I just want to go Steelix, actually. I should have gone Deancey mo mo more than likely, but uh, I am just going to throw out a heavy slam right now. As he's gonna, actually going to switch into his Drapion and going to let it take damage, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to do 53% of that thing. And I am Rest Talk, so I should be pretty good against the Sceptile if it's carrying Leaf Storm. Uh, I'm just going, going to... Well, Deancey walls this thing pretty much, and I can get up my rocks now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Deancey. Uh, this thing can carry Earthquake, as you can see, but it's not a two-hit KO. Um, I can either throw out an Earth Power and just knock this thing out, or get up my rocks. I think getting up my rocks is a little more important. And I think Scrafty just wins at this point with like two DDs up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks. He's actually gonna go for Knockoff. Uh, his Earthquake doesn't take me out and I'll, I'll be able to knock him out with Earth Power. So, well, unless it's a roll of course, which it is. So that's, uh, it's not too big a deal though because I'm pretty sure this thing can't touch Scrafty either. And I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Dance. Let's just start setting up. Um, he does not have a good switch to this thing. He has Muck, which, what does this thing have for me? 
Um, Muck, what do you normally run? And you choice band. Gung shot. You run focus punch. Ooh, that's a little bit scary. Um, and that's banded. How much does that do to Scrafty carrying a Choppleberry? You mean Chopple. Chopple, which of course reduces the fighting type damage. Oh, we can take any hit, even from banded. Um, I just don't want to get poisoned, but we are shed skin. So, I just want to see how much knockoff does. And at plus two. And at plus one. So it does 57 to 68, and without an item, I uh, should be able to two-hit KO him. So I'm not going to DD up again. I'm just going to go for the knockoff, and it's going to get rid of his Black Sludge. He's going to go for Curse, actually, and uh, I'm just going to go for another DD right here, as I'm pretty sure knockoff won't be able to knock him out now. So um, he's going to go for Poison Jab right here. He is going to get the Poison, and we don't get the Shed Skin on this turn, but we'll be able to knock him out with knockoff. And if we do get the Shed Skin at the end of this turn, I'm pretty solid here. We do not, unfortunately. We still have a Siglyph to handle pretty much the rest of his team, barring Drapion. I'm not... Again, I'm not too worried. I don't know what his switch into this thing would be. I guess... Okay, I guess Drapion. But this thing doesn't get Sucker Punch. He's just gonna let me Drain Punch him for free. Right? I'm pretty sure Drapion doesn't get Sucker Punch, or any form of priority for that matter. Again, I'm not too versed in this tier, guys, so... It's, uh, and I'm pretty sure, I, I'm pretty sure it's Chinchino's banded from the tail slap damage, but I'm, I'm almost 100% sure Drapion does not get Sucker Punch, as you can see. So we're gonna get that health back, and, uh, we still don't get the Shed Skin. I think it's a 25% chance every turn to get it. Um, basically, his Claydol is gonna get knocked right out from this knockoff, so goodbye, Claydol. And, uh, we still didn't get the Shed Skin. But now we pretty much wall his team with Sigalyph, so it's, it's not a problem. Uh, he's going to go Sceptile, especially that he's letting this get weakened. Um, and I'm just... This thing's not Mega, so I can either go for Knockoff. I think Knockoff's my stronger move, as that is going to knock him out. And Drain Punch is going to finish off the game. So DD Scrafty coming through. So far, it's looking like Scrafty and Sigalyph are getting the thumbnail. And uh, you guys should see that, so... Um, again, even if this thing is banded at this point, it doesn't matter. Even if it's Scarfed, it doesn't matter. Um, because if it's scarfed and it locks itself into a move, then Steelix just wins. But, uh, we are gonna pick that one up. So, two wins in the RU tier. Very nice. Try, gonna try to get another one. And this time, we were actually gonna pause, guys. I'm not gonna go off on a two-minute rant before we pause, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, guys, and we got one, luckily, because I looked into the number of battles in RU right now, and it's at zero, so somebody was just looking for a battle at the same time as me, luckily. Uh, this guy... Flygon beats the Hoopa, does not beat the Steelix, but I can U-turn into my Blastoise. What do I have for Seismitoad? Oh man, I have nothing for Seismitoad. That's bad. Um, well, I guess Sigilyph can burn it. It can burn pretty much anything on the team, actually. So I'm just going to lead with Flygon here, uh, as he chooses to lead with his Steelix, which, was, uh, which is what I was afraid of. Um, just going to U-turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Just gonna U-turn out into my Blastoise, that's pretty much my best play. Uh, his Seismitoad walls my Blastoise though, so I have to watch out for that. Uh, as he is going to stay in, I'm gonna go straight into Blastoise. He's actually gonna Toxic here. Uh, I'm just gonna refresh, get rid of this Toxic. What is he, Toxic, Heavy Slam, Stealth Rocks, and Earthquake? I guess? Um, I like Refresh Blastoise, man, it, it works. It's nice. Get rid of that uh, that Toxic immediately and go right back up, uh, right back up to full. Basically, like, nothing happened. I'm um, pretty sure Stealth Rocker would actually be a Seismitoad. There's, like, no other reason you would run this on a team. Um, but I can't stop that, really. And uh, my Blastoise cannot touch his, uh, his Seismitoad, so I'm pretty much forced into Sigilyph right here. Uh, the good news is that anything on his team can get burned. He does not have a burn switch in, so I'm just going to go for the Psycho Shift here. He's actually going to let his Seismitoad get burned, which is amazing. And he can go for Scald all he wants, but... He basically can't do anything to me. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm actually going to Roost here. Uh, because I do not want him switching into something for free on a Calm Mind. Uh, I'm just going to... This time I'm going to Calm Mind because he's being stubborn about wanting to stay in. Uh, I think... Well, maybe now he realizes that he can't beat me. So I'm just going to Roost again this turn. Uh, as he chooses to go into his Electros. Good play, good play. Um, Steelix is pretty solid here. 
might go for a Giga Drain, but it's actually going to go for a knockoff, which does absolutely nothing. And uh, But I can't touch this thing back. So maybe not the best play. Just going to go for a Heavy Slam, see how much it does. This thing is rather light, I believe. It does go for a Flamethrower. I'm going to go for the Heavy Slam. It's going to do 33%. That's a, that's a sizable amount of damage. I'm going to go into Deancey here and get up my rocks. Right now, as he goes for Flamethrower again, not doing too much at all. I think even Giga Drain isn't going to do too much, honestly. So I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. Get him up for the Braviary. Uh, break any potential Sashes. Weaken the Hoopa. Probably not carrying any Sashes, but uh, nonetheless. How much attack do we have? Uh, so Moonblast is definitely better, even if he's uh, AV. Going to knock him down to 35 there. He's going to get off a lot of damage, actually, on that one. Um, and that actually did 42, so I'm kind of scared here. Uh... Are you even carrying an electric move? Like, you have to be, right? Do I want to keep this for anything? Um, not really. Nah, I'd rather just go for another Moonblast, honestly. We actually crit him on that one. Uh, and he's going to go for a Giga Drain, but now he's in range of... He doesn't have a Fairy type. Um, is he in range of U-Turn? Hold on. Flygon. Uh, where are you? Choice Scarf, let's say, with U-Turn, exactly, yep, against Electros. Are you Assault Vest? That is the question. Are you Assault Vest? You should be. Um, I actually outspeed him with Scrafty, and Scrafty can definitely do more damage. So I'm just gonna go for the knockoff here. And any, anything he wants to bring in isn't really a good switch. Hoopa goes straight down, Braviary I think goes straight down, Seismitoad basically loses whatever item it was carrying, I can't remember if it was leftovers or not, uh, Psycho Shift, let's see, no it's not, so I'm not sure what it is, uh, we're gonna knock out his Electros there, which was kind of the biggest threat to uh, Siglyph, uh, other than of course his, uh, his Tyrantrum, but um, he's gonna bring in his Steelix here, which I don't completely understand. Um, I'm just gonna go Stoys again, and uh, he's gonna throw off Stealth Rocks actually, and I can just rapid spin them away every time, so no problem, limo right there. He's gonna go into Seismitoad. He's going to take. He has he's leftovers. How did I not notice that? That's strange. Um, again, Seismitoad can't do anything to Siglyph, so I'm pretty free to go into it here, and uh, he's actually gonna crit me there. I'm just gonna go for a Roost. Perfectly fine. I mean, I, I really don't care if this thing is, is critting me or not. Um, I can live any hit. See, he's actually dual rocks. Okay. I'm actually going to go for a Psycho Shift here. Because he shouldn't want to stay in. Just so I can get a burn off on something else. Scrafty wins this game. I just need two DDs up to be able to 1v1 the Mega Steelix, I believe. And then Scrafty just wins. But I definitely need two Dragon Dances up, and I need the, the most opportune moment to go for it. So, if I find out that Hoopa is choiced, I'm going straight into Scrafty. Like, if it hits me with a Shadow Ball and I see that it's Specs damage or, or whatever, I'm definitely going straight into Scrafty right after. Just getting up that Dragon Dance, and that'll be the end of that. So, I think Drain Punch... Does Drain Punch knock it out? Probably not. Uh, gonna get a burn off on this Hoopa. You can see that it's not leftovers, which it shouldn't be. And how am I going to gauge this damage? Steelix isn't a really good way to gauge it. But I don't want Flygon going down either. I think I'm just going to sack Steelix here and then just go for a U-turn. Honestly. Uh, he's going to go for Shadow Ball right there. That's fine. Did he take any Life Orb damage? He did take Life Orb damage. Okay, so he's Life Orb, which means he can swap up moves and hit me with a Focus Blast. Which is a little bit scary. He is quite weak to... Uh, no, he's not quite weak to bug. What am I saying? This isn't a hoop unbound, guys. Um, but he is weak to U-turn, I believe. Um, let's see. Hoopa. Let's say you use Substitute Attacker. How much do you take from U-turn? You do not take enough. So I'm going straight for the Earthquake. Knocking this thing out. Now he can go into his Braviary. But uh, I'm not too concerned. He actually chooses to go into his Seismitoad. Well, I'm going to Earthquake you and knock you out, too. All right, so Flygon putting in work. Uh, his best play is in a Braviary. I don't know why he hasn't gone into that yet. He should know by now that I'm Scarfed, just by the way I played this Flygon. Um, don't really know what he's thinking about. 
But Flygon just is destroying this guy's team. Do I want to pair it up on the uh, on the thumbnail as well? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I might just keep Scrafty and Sigalith. That should be good. I always like to have one thing in the air and one thing on the ground. Just to, to make it look nice. <laughs> so he is going to finally go into his Braviary, which is good. Um, kind of want to go Blastoise here. Yeah, that's the, definitely the best play. As he goes for the Brave Bird, he's going to knock me down to 47. Not nearly enough. And... Um, I want Blastoise for the Steelix. Sorry about the silence, guys. I'm just really thinking about this play. At the same time, I could just go for Roar, and this thing would take an immense amount of damage when it comes back in. So that might be the play. I could also just Scald and knock it out, though. Um, I'm faster than his Steelix, so I can still keep this thing around. Yeah, I'm just going to, to go for the Scald. Yeah, he put me into Torrent, so he's definitely going down. I think even... Oh, whoa. Okay, he lived. Um, what don't I need? I mean, at this point, I don't need Sigilyph, right? So, goodbye, Siggy. And uh, he's pretty much going to go down to his recoil right here. Uh, I actually live that, which is cool, because now his Steelix can't come in. It has to be his, uh, his Tyrantrum. And... Uh, Oh, he actually chooses to go Steelix, okay. So I'm just going to Psycho Shift my burn onto him. Basically rendering this thing useless. And he's going to go for Toxic for no apparent reason. Uh, just going to go for Roost right here. If he wants to switch into Tyrantrum, that's fine. This thing is crippled, so it's pretty much just set up fodder for me at this point. Uh, I'm just going to Roost again. And he can't really do anything, so... Again, I'm a, I'm a little bit lower ladder, so these uh, players maybe don't know uh, the tier 2 too well. Like I said before, I just got this battle... There was nobody else playing RU, so maybe he's just trying it out for once, uh, which is okay. But uh, at this point, with his Steelix being burned, Flygon just wins, so I can let this go down. I'm just going to go for a Psycho Shift, as he's actually slower than me. Uh, and he goes for a Rock Polish. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Um, but he is Toxic, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, what can I do here? Well, I can Air Slash and try to flinch him, uh, but he is faster, of course, so he's going he's gonna to knock me out with that. He should be faster than my Flygon. Um, what do I do here? Did he take recoil from that? No, he didn't. Um, I thought I was burned for some reason. So this is kind of bad. Uh, but wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up my regular calculator here and just see. I'm gonna do this on screen for you guys. Uh, 265 times two and 328 times 1.5. So he is faster than me if he's jolly. If he's adamant, what does he go to? Let's see. Um, Tyrantrum. Are you rock polish? What do you normally... It normally runs adamant, which means it goes to 241 speed, which doesn't outspeed Choiced Flygon. So I'm playing off of this. I'm going to go for the EQ and really pray that he is... Uh, that he is adamant and not jolly because that would be really bad. All right, so he is cool So we're able to pick up with that one up Whew, Thank God for using uh, Standard sets. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna EQ this thing this thing. This does negligible damage unless it's a crit Okay, uh, so we take down this Steelix as well, and we're just gonna drop a GG uh, He already left but nonetheless we were able to pick up uh, three wins on that This is a really cool start to RU guys. I definitely want to do more of this I just need to study the tier a little bit really and uh, maybe hit up the forums read some stuff watch a couple of videos I know uh, I know of a couple of youtubers that have done uh, extensive videos in um, In RU so I can watch those for for some knowledge and yeah, so that's it uh, if you guys enjoyed if you want to see more RU let me know in the comment section down below Hit that like button. It'll also let me know if you if you if you liked are you, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of anything for that matter. So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching, and ciao.